The Milwaukee River Keeper cleanup today was an opportunity for people within the neighborhood to come out and pick up trash both in the neighborhoods as well as along the river. Um, the reason why it's important to get trash both in the neighborhood and along the river is that when it rains and such, a lot of that trash will wash off the streets and the lawns and the parking lots and make its way to the river such that you find a lot of trash in the river um, as well as in the uh, lake downstream. The river has the water that, that goes into the Michigan River, and those are the water um, that are being cleaned, and those are the water that, that we utilize in the home for cooking, washing, drinking. So it's important that we take care of these this waters. Milwaukee is really leading the country in trying to deal with water quality issues and trying to be the be at the forefront of this. So even other cities within the Great Lakes, Cleveland, Chicago, Toronto, um, have not been as progressive as Milwaukee. We dyed the river earlier with rhodamine dye that makes it a little bit pink. Um, and the reason that we do that is to study the hydrology of the system, to see how long the water takes to travel through the restoration. So upstream of here, I did a dye release last summer, um, and there is a concrete channel. And so you can imagine that when the dye is in the concrete channel, it's traveling through relatively quickly. Um, you just see the dye go through in one big pulse, whereas when we do it here in this restoration, there's a lot of different habitats. And so you can see that some of the dye goes through quickly through the middle of the river. Some of the dye is hanging out behind a rock for a little while. Um, and so the way you can think of that is an analogy um, sort of as the river being a house. And so the places that the dye is going are all the different rooms in the house. The places where it's going quickly, um, there's typically a lot more food in those areas and, and more macroinvertebrates or bugs. So fish might go into those fast areas uh, to get food. So you can think of that like the kitchen. Um, and then there's other areas where the dye hangs out for a long time, like behind a rock. Um, and the dye hangs there for a while. Uh, so you can think of those sort of as the bedrooms. Um, so when you look at a river, all you see is the water. You don't think of all these different habitats or these different pockets within the river. And by putting the dye in there, we can see how each little bit of the river is interacting uh, with the other bits. <laughs> 